Good morning, friends. I hope you're having a good morning. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm a mom. My name is Ina Irby. And you know the rest, so I'm not going to say it. So, courage to change, and here we go. <laughs> ah, coffee. I need coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Here we go. February 3rd. As a newcomer to Al-Anon, I heard that the principles of the program could lead to serenity. I'd have preferred to hear that the program would cure the alcoholic, undo the damage of the past, or at least pay the gas bill. My idea of serenity was sitting on a mountaintop with a silly grin on my face, not caring very much about anything. I was more interested in passion Eventually, I realized that serenity didn't have to strip me of my passion. Instead, it offered me a sense of inner security that freed me to live my life as fully and passionately as I pleased because it tapped into an unlimited source of energy and wisdom, a higher power. I could make strong choices and take risks because with this help, I was better able to deal with anything that happened. Nothing can compare to the drama of exploring my full potential as a human being. Once I had a taste of the rich life that could be mine with the help of Al-Anon and my higher power, I discovered that serenity was a great treasure. Today's reminder. Today I seek serenity knowing that when I am serene, I am capable of becoming more fully and more passionately myself. The quote is from In All Our Affairs. Quote, Without this program, I could not have appreciated how truly wonderful my life can be in spite of difficult situations. End quote. I'll read that again. Without this program, I could not have appreciated how truly wonderful my life can be in spite of difficult situations. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. Goodbyes. <sighs> I am learning to say goodbye. When I first learned my friend would be leaving, I was wild with grief. I felt like a child afraid of being abandoned, terrified of being alone. I hold my inner child and explain, sometimes you have to learn to say goodbye to a friend whose path differs from yours. It's hard to let go and it's scary. But when a friendship isn't growing anymore, you have to let it go. Today, my friend and I have come to a fork in the road. My friend must take one path and I must take the other. I am saddened by the parting, but I rejoice in our ability to go our separate ways to fulfill our own needs. Our parting need not be forever. Perhaps farther down the road, our paths will cross again. Well, I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your bliss and be good humans.